Dear Ryan, our day is finally here. None of the small details we've been stressing about matter. It's always about you and I, and I could not be more blessed to spend the rest of my life with you. So we met at Pizzeria Uno in Attleboro. It was game two of the Red Sox World Series in 2013. And the bar was packed. We talked for a little bit, and then my friend and I went to leave, and that would have been it. But my friend had a good feeling, so she wrote my number down on a napkin. And I remember looking at Jen, and I was like, hey, I'm like, is this a real number? And she's like, yeah, I'm like, all right. I'm like, just to let you know, I'm probably gonna call you. She's like, okay. So I called her after, uh, well, I texted her actually, and said so she wanted to go out again. You know, I had a couple of drinks the first time I met her, so I was very, feeling very confident, but I didn't really remember exactly what she looked like. So when she walked in, I, she is gorgeous. It was the closing game of the Red Sox winning the World Series that year. Um, we got some food, got some drinks, and the conversation just never stopped. There was never like a hitch or an awkward pause or anything like that. It was the best first date I'd ever been on. And end of the night, the Red Sox won, and he asked for a kiss. The next day, when we spent the next 40 minutes on the phone talking about Jen and not the World Series, I knew something was a little bit different. And we pretty much were like inseparable ever since we saw each other every two or three days. He would tell me that I think you're going to be the girl that I'm going to marry and I love you and I think we knew early on that that's what we wanted. I took her sister out with me and I asked for her sister's permission to ask her and um, she helped me go and pick out the ring. He not only values my sister but he also values my whole family as well and that thoughtfulness also drove him to propose on Christmas Day so that our whole family would be there. So we're like halfway through Christmas, she gets me this scrapbook, which had, she literally saved everything. And he kind of got a little bit emotional reading through it. And once he, you know, kind of got his emotions in check, he handed me a gold shoebox. And uh, she opened it up and she saw the uh, gummy worms and uh, she saw the Pandora box and then she opened up the Pandora box and the ring was there. And I was, shocked. I remember him getting down on one knee. He was just like, you're my best friend. This has been the best two years of my life and I want to marry you. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. It's the big day. Woo! <laughs> I always bring up the fact that I'm getting married because I'm wicked excited and the news generally is met with a warning or poor advice. And usually the most popular phrase is, just wait until. And I can't wait until someone tells me they're getting married so I can share my just waits. Just wait until she gets as excited as you do for Sunday night football that she has her own dance routine. <laughs> just wait until your favorite place became our favorite place and she cries every time she leaves because she had such a good time. The air is crisper up there. Just wait until you propose because you know you want to spend the rest of your life with this person. I love you so much and I can't wait to see what the future has in store for us. Hopefully more things I can excitedly give as advice for someone down the road when they tell me they're getting married too. I love you, Ryan. These are the hands that will wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will comfort you in illness and hold you when fear or grief rack your mind. These are the hands that will comfort and encourage your children to be the best they can be. These are the hands that will work long hours for you and your new family so you may enjoy life's successes. And these are the hands that will tenderly lift your chin and brush your cheek as they raise your face to look into his eyes, eyes that are filled completely with his overwhelming love for you. Blessed are you, O God of our fathers. Praised be your name forever and ever. Let the heavens and all your creation praise you forever. 
You made Adam and you gave him his wife Eve to help and be a support. Call down your mercy on me and her and allow us to live together to a happy old age. If I have all faith so as to move mountains but do not have love, I am nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. It is not jealous, it is not pompous, it is not inflated, it is not rude, it does not seek its own interests. Love never fails. I, Ryan. Take you, Jennifer. Take you, Jennifer. To be my wife. To be my wife. I, Jennifer. Take you, Ryan. Take you, Ryan. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. For Ryan and Jen, now beginning their married life together, that they may have divine assistance at every moment. The constant support of friends, the rich blessing of children, and good health all their days. It is my honor and privilege to introduce for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Ryan and Jennifer Astor. So this is love. So this is love. So this is what makes life divine. I'm all aglow, and now I know. And now I know. The key. I always knew she would find the one. She always had a very clear idea of what she was looking for in life. But I think even she was surprised at how much Ryan was able to change her life for the better. I don't think I've ever seen my sister light up the way she does is when she looks at Ryan. So this is the miracle that I It's kind of always felt like Ryan and Jen, and I still get deja vu feelings when we go to Carolina Hurricane games, things like that, because it feels like we've been doing it for a lot longer than the time that we've actually been doing it. So, um, I guess I'm just really proud of my brother. I'm, I'm, I'm super happy that he got married to such a, a beautiful person.
Well, it's like sugar to my soul. 